there? Did you drop something? Is everything okay? Is anyone wet?
friends reacted too. I told them, like, yeah, I gotta be in Tulsa for a month shooting a movie. And they're like, ha 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 ha. And I'm like, it's not Fast and Furious, right? <laughs> That's what everyone assumes. Like, Transformers? Fast and Furious? I'm like, no, I'm, uh, it's a low budget movie. Uh, Faith based. I'm playing Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't know if you've heard of him, the Son of God. <laughs> His only son. That's who I'm playing because the world is weird. <laughs> it's the weirdest world ever. And they're like, do you want to play Jesus? And I'm like, sure. And so I've been out there for 10 days, and in the last 10 days, that's the most amount of times I've asked myself, well, what would Jesus do <laughs> in this scene? <laughs> How does he order a latte? Because it's set in modern times, and I had to order a latte, and I'm like, you get whole milk. <laughs> Like he wouldn't mess around with, with almond milk. He's a whole milk guy, you know? Would he tip? Nah. Yeah. I don't think Jesus would tip. I think he would tip if it was a sit-down situation. But not up at the counter where I did all the work, pretty much. You know? I might be putting these words in Jesus' mouth right now, but I feel like he wouldn't tip in those. Because I don't like tipping in those. Like, hey, would you like to tip? I'm like, for what? If you flip the iPad sooner, I can put my own order in. <laughs>
You know, and I'm like, oh, that's that's what you chose. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm kind of judging, but then they do something cool, like where the keyboard breaks away from the computer, and now it's an iPad, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's kind of cool. But then it all crashes, and I'm like, yeah, still not interested. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of <laughs> And if you guys know anything about cats, you can't just throw a third cat into a two-cat prize. You can't just go, eh, cat UFC, figure it out. <laughs> I'm glad things are getting back to normal. Uh, I think the pandemic's over. I think it's still, I don't know. It, it, it feels, I mean, we're inside, you know? It feels over. This is when I felt like the pandemic was over. I was flying in March, and I was flying back from a gig in Kansas City, and there was a uh, lady across the aisle. She had the whole row to herself in coach, which is what we call first class in coach, when you have the whole row to herself. And she was laying face down in a seat cushion. It just no pillow, no scrunched up sweater, just face into a butt cushion. And I'm like, I think the pandemic's over now. I mean, everyone has their own, you know, reasoning. But I'm like, for me, that's it. I was just thinking 12 months before, just to go to the grocery store. I was dressed like I was clearing graphite off a rooftop at Chernobyl. <laughs> just so I could go in and get some groceries. And then 12 months later, here we are, and she's just motorboating a Delta C. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know about you, but it feels over. <laughs> Vaccinated, I went and got the vaccine, which is good. Yeah, go get them. Go get them or don't. I don't know. I got mine because I wanted it. I just wanted to, you know. I still wear my mask, of course, but I don't need it. You know? Because <laughs> I got the two shots, but if I see a sign that says, wear your mask, I'm like, oh. you know. But if you look at my eyes, I'm like, <laughs>
that my girlfriend needs at the doctor's like, you gotta figure out your legs, because this girl needs to, about to pass out. So she's in there, she feels horrible, and then after about 30 minutes, she starts feeling better, and then she's fine, and then we drive home. And on the drive home, she's like, that was horrible, I'm so embarrassed, I had a panic attack in front of everybody, and I'm like, you should never be embarrassed about that. That was not your fault. Same thing would have happened to me if I was in your position, you know? If I sat down and a nurse was like, hey, I've never done this before. I would have been like, well, is there anybody else? <laughs> anybody. I'll take anybody. Has anyone? I'd rather a junkie from under the bridge give me my vaccine. Does anyone here have experience with needles? Anybody. I'd rather a junkie just show up like, yeah, baby, I got you. Time me off, put your belt back on, and I'm just getting the vaccine. We're not listening to jazz. So. Hey everybody, thanks for watching my show, and thanks to everybody that came out to the shows in Seattle. We sold out all four. Bravo, couldn't have done that without you guys. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm posting new content. Content, content, it's all about content. Uh, and also I'm back on tour because the world is opening up. I have upcoming shows in Salt Lake City, uh, Milwaukee, Indianapolis. I'm setting up a show in Chicago as well. Um, and then I'm doing a tour in Texas with my good buddy, Dustin Nickerson. We just announced this one. We will be in San Antonio, Houston, Dallas, and Austin. All the information, all these shows is at my website, ZoltanComedy.com. And that's it. Oh, also, if you'd like to join my page and support me monetarily, you can do that. Hit the join button right there. It's like down there, I think. It's right there. You can click it, check it out. Uh, and I think that's it. Until next time, toodaloo.